Good morning, my lovely students. How are you today? I hope you are doing great. Today, I have some really interesting lessons for you. So listen to me very carefully and follow my instructions. Okay? Great. So today is Sunday, 26th of April, 2020. So let's start today's class. My dear students, as per our schedule, we will have our first lesson of English and then we will do our math work. Then we will have your favorite lesson that is the story time. And today I will read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I hope you guys will enjoy it. So my dear children, today we will learn something new. Do you remember the songs we learned in our class? I'm sure you do. So today we will sing two songs. The first one is about the weather. Did you see how's the weather outside today? Come on and sing with me. And don't forget to do your actions. How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it snowy? How's the weather today? Let's look outside. How's the weather? Is it sunny today? Let's look outside. How's the weather? Is it rainy today? Let's look outside. How's the weather? Is it cloudy today? Let's look outside. Is it snowy today? How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it snowy? How's the weather today? Excellent students, you did well. Now let's move to our next song. It's about keeping yourself neat and tidy. So let's sing along. This is the way we wash a face, wash a face, wash a face. This is the way we wash a face early in the morning. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair early in the morning. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth early in the morning. This is the way we get dressed, get dressed, get dressed. This is the way we get dressed early in the morning. This is the way we go to school, go to school, go to school. This is the way we go to school early in the morning. Very well done, students. That was great. So kids, in the next class, we will learn some more new songs. I hope you had fun. Dear students, today in our English lesson, we will take a new letter and that is letter I. Then you will practice writing your names in a salt tray. Dear parents, the letter formation page is for you to check how to form a letter correctly. When your child writes alphabets, please make sure that the formation is correct. 
Letter Formation My dear students, today in our English lesson, we will learn about a new letter. So this page is about letter I and its sound is E. E for igloo. E for ice cream. E for insect. Now you will sing the Jolly Phonics song for letter I. Good job, my kids. Now let's learn how we will write the letter I. As I told you before, we always start from the top. So take your pencils and draw a standing line going downwards. And then we will go to the top again and do a dot. Good job. Now practice writing the letter and finish the worksheet by writing the letter I at the bottom line. Dear students, this is an excellent activity to practice writing your names, but you will need your mummy's help to do this. You will need a tray and a bottle of salt. Now fill the tray with enough salt just to cover the bottom of the tray. Now with your pointer finger, start writing your name in the salt tray as shown in the picture. Please repeat and practice writing your names. My dear students, in this page you can see a picture of a tree. But there are no leaves on this tree. So what I want you to do, I want you to make this tree into a beautiful spring tree. For that, what you will have to do, you will cut out small pieces of tissue papers and paste them on the tree as it is shown in the sample. You can also use colored papers if you don't have colored tissue at home. My lovely students, today in our math lesson, we are going to count and match the numbers and then we will practice writing numbers from 1 to 10. How many? Dear students, this is an activity for counting numbers. So as you can see, there are dice on one side with dots and there are numbers on the other side. So you will count the number of dots in each dice and match it to the correct number. For example, in the first dice, how many dots do you see? one two two dots you are going to match this dice with number two similarly you are going to do all the dice and match them with the correct number writing numbers my dear students please practice Writing numbers from 1 to 10 in the boxes given. Please try to write the numbers inside the boxes and do your work neatly. It's story time kids and today I will read a very interesting story for you. So please listen and enjoy. This story is about a little caterpillar with a big appetite and it's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. 
In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop. Out of the egg came a tiny and a very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he is still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. I thought the caterpillar would never be full. Eating the right things help him to grow into a beautiful butterfly and the wrong things gave him a stomach ache. You too can grow up and strong if you eat right. I hope you enjoyed the story. My dear students, as the topic for this week is spring, so there is something that I wanted all of you to see. Please click on Spring is Here and watch the video carefully. I hope you enjoyed today's lessons and I wish you all the best for today. Happy Ramadan to all of you and your families. I will see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.